Hey guys, this is War Machine 395 here with a work in progress videos. You guys all know how few of those I make. Um, so basically, I am going to be starting a new project in the very near future. I already have started. All right, so I'm, I've taken to calling this the Zaku project. Um, so in recent days, I have just finished the Zuda as my first entry into the Universal Century versus Alternate Century group build at Gundam Eclipse. Um, so basically, my plan for this project is going to be pretty long term. Um, ending probably in February of next year or so. Um, of course, the group build ends the end of December, so that's it. I'm going to build three of the kits, three of the kits, for that group build, and the fourth, I hope I get to this one, will be built in January and February for Cam and Sneaper's contest. Hoping some of you guys have seen that one. I might put a link in the description. Um, it's pretty awesome. Anyway. So, I'll get to that plan later, but, to start, okay, um, so the plan is to take two Universal Century Zakus, the Sniper type, and the Zaku one, and we're going to take parts from them. Now these parts are going to be used in conjunction with two real grade Zakus, Zaku twos, sorry, Chars because they're cheaper on HLJ for some reason, usually on sale because they're pink. Nobody likes pinks, right? So I'm going to take those. They look really cartoony, right? They don't have much in the way of panel lines, and they just don't look all that mechanical. I'm going to take those, and I'm going to alter them into a few variants, basically. So this one, I think, is from the anime, the... 0083 Stardust Memories yeah so it's a lot grittier looking um, I don't want to spoil anybody who hasn't seen that show so I'm not going to go anywhere with the show but um, so this is basically desert color so so you can see all the lines like it's a lump sharper you can, there's uh, holes in the shoulder where the spikes should be so it's like somewhere between Zaku 1 and 2. Um, but this is what I want mine to look like in the end. It's still going to be green and blue like the original. But I want it to look a little less cartoony. All right, and this is the best picture I could find of what I really wanted to do with it. Alright, so with that, I think I can show you what I've got going on so far with that. Uh, I'll pull it over. Alright. Okay, so here we go. Um, so from the start, I stripped a bunch of parts off the Zaku one. Mostly the chest is the really obvious one, right? Um, the rest of the parts are basically going to become mod fodder for future kits. And I've stripped down one of the legs. Alright, so one of the key features of the Zaku one is it doesn't have those energy cables that the Zaku two does. So I pulled all of those off, and we're off to the back here. Right, um, and the thrusters are missing from the legs, especially the Char variant. There's even less th thrusters than on that than there is more thrusters on that than there is in the regular Zaku 2, and the Zaku 1 has less thrusters than the Zaku 2. So it's going to take quite a bit of mods to get it to where I want it to be, but I've started, and it turns out it's pretty simple. So basically, you got to fill in those with plop plate. Um, I'm not quite done with this part, of course. I'm going to take a few more pieces of plop plate, build it up a tiny bit, fill it with some putty and Mr. Surfacer, sand it down so it's nice and smooth. Um, I think that I might be testing out uh, Major Williams Rust tutorial on this kit as well. 
Maybe I'll try and link that in the description as well, because it's pretty damn cool. So if you haven't seen some of the Major's tutorials, I'd highly recommend checking those out um, as well. Right, so there's a few more parts where you have to fill in the gaps. So you take the thigh, for instance, right here. So I've pulled the energy cable out and cut down the peg hole and just plot plated where the hole was so it can still move and separate like it should on the real grade. Now it's still pretty rough, uh, so it still needs some work and it doesn't fit together quite right, but it's getting there. So that's what I'm hoping will come along nicely in the next couple days. All right. And of course you have to take the energy cables off the head as well and fill in this hole. I haven't gotten there yet. And the one last part, or two parts, sorry, is I cut the peg off, sanded it down. I'm going to leave that the way it is right now because I like the way that looks, actually. And the other side, that's the last part, really, I promise, is I cut this hole here because I like the way it looked in that picture. And I still like the way it looks. And then pulled the spikes off. And again, I think that looks pretty cool, actually. And so that's it so far for the Zaku 1. And I think I can move on to discussing the other parts of this project. All right. Um, so the Zaku 1 is the first part that we're going to be working on. And the second part being a modded Zaku 1 sniper type. All right. So here we have a picture from the Unicorn anime, I believe where the Baku 1 Sniper will be coming up in the fourth episode. And that looks really good. Really, really good. Alright, so we'll compare it here to the manual picture. You can see on this shoulder, it's a lot simpler here than it is in this one. It's a little more bulked up in the shoulder area. As well as in the other shoulder, you can, it's the same everywhere. So it's going to require a few more mods to get the real grade where I want it. As well, we're going to have to transplant the knee part and the chest part. That's going to be a little harder. The design's a little different, right? Uh, now on to the head. As I believe I mentioned in the review, uh, the Zaku 1 sniper's head. The mono eye does not move, and it has head balkans. So, well, the, yeah, the mono eye is quite a bit larger, too. Uh, so basically, my plan for that one is, I've already broken the neck on my first real grade Zaku 2. So it's mono eye no longer moves anyway because the gear is stripped. So basically, I'm just going to swap out that part and use it for the Zaku 1 sniper. No harm done, right? Um, that way I can have a Zaku 1 whose eyes move, right? And for the HUD Vulcans, I have procured a few metal option parts again. This time, tiny, tiny little metal Vulcans. And I will get to those on another video, because I don't have them here right now. But that's about it for the Zaku Sniper. I feel like that one's probably been the coolest one so far. And the third part that's going to happen this year, this year, tentatively, is going to be just the regular Zaku 2. Of course, I have a green one now that I hope to be doing a comparison video of at least the runners today. And I'll try and put that up and whatnot between the pink and green Zaku, just so you can see the differences, basically. Alright, and the fourth part, which is probably not going to happen this year, but that is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Good thing because Cam and Sneaper's contest is coming along, right? So, this one is going to be the most mod intensive one. Alright, so, some of you been, might have been asking after those last three, wait a second, isn't there one more Zaku variant? Yes, yes there is. And that Zaku variant is the Zaku Cannon. So awesome. Unless it's that lame cartoony version that came in the... Anyway. So. All 
Alright, so my camera decided to take a nap suddenly. Um, seems normal for it almost now. Alright, so this would be the unicorn version of the Zaku Cannon. You can see some of the main features being the change in the knees, so it can kind of kneel a little better. Um, the shoulder is a little more rounded because the focus moves further away from close combat. The shield is quite a bit larger, covering this side and guarding the gun. Uh, the cannons on the waist are... I'm not sure if they're cannons or missile launchers. And the energy G cables come directly into the chest a little bit more, as well as the head unit. There's no energy cable around the head. So that's some of the main features there. The It retains most of its energy cables still, which good. Right, um, so I don't want to do one exactly like this. I want to do something that looks a little grittier. Something that will match the others a little bit more. Um, and again, still have a lot of differences from the other ones. So what I have here is a printout of, well, a very, very small line art printout, of the variant that shows up in the 8th MS team. Alright, so you can see it's a lot more bulked out everywhere. The cannon's a lot bigger. So the reason I'm waiting until next year is the cannon comes out. It's an armored core add-on, so that'll be out next year. I'm waiting for that. Alright, that's it. I'll see you next time.